Hello everyone, Matt Thompson reporting to you from Arden Street this Thursday where the Kangaroos are still reeling from Jack Siebel's four-match suspension. Coach Brad Scott has not minced his words, hitting out at the AFL Tribunal and indeed the entire process that has taken place over the course of this week. For his part, Siebel is off to train in the United States, banished from football for a month for what the club believes was an innocent act. Let's hear what Brad Scott had to say. It was a bitterly disappointing day and a really sad day in my mind for AFL football. You know, I, I think that, that something has been, uh, the strikes at the heart of what this game's about. Um, since I've been involved in footy my whole life, um, I've never ever seen a player um, get suspended for um, making the ball his sole objective, um, attacking the ball with ferocity, but being punished for the incidental contact that occurred because of, of that attitude and going for the ball. And perhaps we need to rewrite the coaching manual. Go back and tell players, no, nah, it's not about keeping your eyes on the ball and attacking it with ferocity. It's about making sure you don't hurt your opponent. We cancelled Jack really closely. We coached him and said, Jack, you cannot do that. You cannot line up an opposition player, run past the ball, make him your sole focus. And so he is now saying to me, well, I did what you said. I made the ball my sole focus. I attacked it. And now I'm not allowed to play for four weeks. So that's an indictment in my view that there is a grey area there now and I'm sure that will be cleaned up at the end of the year. But that's, I think that that's an issue you need to address with Adrian Anderson because you can ask uh, me my opinion and I can give it to you, but um, if you want change you've got to speak to the powers that be. Yeah, we'll send him off to Utah. Uh, we'll, um, we've got a, a terrific relationship with the US ski team over there and they've got, they train some of the best endurance athletes in the world with all their cross country skiers and uh, they've got a great training program over there and great facilities and this time of year it's, it's 28 degrees and, um, and perfect so Jack will get a nice little northern hemisphere summer and, and really solid training block to make sure that he comes back in pristine conditions. Drew Petrie and Cat James Kelly have been sent please explains for their post-tribunal tweets. No decision yet on whether Petrie or Chris Judd's victim Lee Adams will play but both trained north to face an angry Richmond side on Sunday thankful for the return of Dustin Martin. Yeah, he gets up, gets up nice and early. Has some brekkie. He's got a nice routine there. So, um, I guess in his own mind, he he knows that he's kind of let himself down. More importantly, and and um, you know, and probably the team comes at the back of that. But um, as I said, he, he's done everything right over the last couple of weeks, and and he he has learned from it. I think, and it's just up to us to get around him, give him a cuddle, and, and get behind him, make sure he plays some good footy. But still, the Tigers can't escape questions about their disastrous trip to Cairns and why Trent Cotchin was sitting on the pine in the dying seconds. You know, we were just unable to, to get someone off for Trent and he was desperately trying to get back on the ground. He's the leader of the football club, probably our best clearance player. So we needed him out there and he knew that. Um, but yeah, it was just one of those things that, uh, that happened and that's a pass now. All eyes on two big-name Hawks at Waverley. Lance Franklin putting his injured hamstring to the test, while skipper Luke Hodge did the same with his knee. The Hawks could do with both for Saturday's blockbuster against Collingwood, looking to build on a six-game winning streak. Despite the outrage from Port Adelaide officials, Matthew Primus concedes he has no fundamental problem with Geelong's attempt to snare Travis Boak. Look, it goes on. You know, every club is, is talking to players and uh, all those sorts of things. Probably the way it was done and the way that they come into town, sort of thing. But you'd be a bit more discreet with that. But I think, as, as Chris said, also I think this is the way the nature of the business where it's going, and uh, we're all sooner or later going to have to get used to. The clubs are certainly going to be, um, you know, well aware that they're talking to certain players, especially with the free agency coming in. But if Boak does want out of Alberton, Primus says the power hold all the cards. It leaves us in a good, pretty good bargaining place, I would have thought. You know, we can uh, deal with a lot of clubs where Travis can end up and uh, we'll make sure we get very, very well compensated. At Essendon, James Hurd has revealed the Bombers could welcome back three big guns for tomorrow night's blockbuster against Geelong. Yeah, Cramery, Monfries, uh, Winderlich all up for selection this week, um, which is exciting for us, um, having players come back in rather than go out. Uh, and then the week after we, we get a few more back so that the next two or three weeks we'll have our hopefully our full squad back together again. All three trained strongly this morning but the Dons may err on the side of caution with Winderlich in particular who hasn't played an AFL game since he tore his ACL in round four last year. Uh, we'll see how he trains today and um, he's played two games in the VFL. I think it's, there's no doubt Jason's you know, an outstanding player um, and, and definitely good enough to be in the team. It's just whether we're doing the right thing by him playing him off a limited preparation and whether he's better to get a, another four quarters in the Bendigo team before he comes in. But um, we'll make that decision after looking at him today. 
And that is a wrap on the footy news this Thursday here on AFL.com.au. Of course, keep clicking back for all the team news and analysis of that through the night. We'll talk to you soon.